Hello, hello. This is for my Taurus. Okay, hold on. Let me take that off. Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, whatever placements. You might even have second house placements. Or you just want to tap into Taurus energy. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. Okay? I'm going to clear the energy a little bit. I have been doing some other readings. I just did Pisces and Aries. Okay? And then we're on to you. It's all about you right now, Taurus. When I get started, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in. We're about to get started here. Spirit ancestors, guys, what messages, what guidance do you have for my Taurus? What do they need to know right now in this very moment? We have the chariot card. We have ace of pentacles. Okay. I'm like, let's go. And then, let's see. We have the lights, okay? And at the base, we have King of Swords. So, Taurus, off the bat, now I'm using Dark Reflections. So, this is going to be different from what, you know, other decks are, you know, are saying. With the Chariot here, there might be some poor planet when it comes to these new and en new endeavors when it comes to, like, career, right? Uh, especially career uh, with the pinnacles. I'm hearing this could be a love offer, but I'm just I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing it yet. Um, yeah, with the chariot card here, this is like feminine. This is the feminine energy. So you might need to take some time to rest, research, plan. Okay, rest, research, plan. Before you jumpstart into this newness, okay? Before you jumpstart into this newness, there's something that you still need to uncover with the light card here. It's like an aha type of moment. But you have to dig deep in order to find it. That's where working with the feminine energy will be your best friend, okay? Yep, so take some time. Reevaluate. Sit and convene with spirit, with your spiritual team. Shine a light on the areas that you may not want to look at. They'll probably help you. Okay? Definitely time to strategize. King of Swords. King of Swords, again, in the reverse. I mean, excuse me, um, at the base of the deck. But um, out of all, well... I would say King of, well, King of Swords, it is about action, but it's strategic action. So it's like, this is more mental. You need to work more mentally on um, what, what you're going to do. If this is a product release I'm hearing, um, yeah, you might need to make sure you plan. Uh, I'm also hearing like a party, like planning an event, right? Making sure you, that you got all your ducks in a row. That's what that's what's coming off. Okay, let's see. What else, Taurus? What else you need to to know? I did not put my stopwatch on. Four Pentacles. Okay, so what's stopping or why this energy is saying causing you to stop and rest and to think about things, Taurus? Is because you're probably you got your hands in too many things with the four pinnacles and you need to let go of some things in order to make room for for more for this newness right right one plus four is five right you probably holding on to to all these things because you feel like you you have to because it's like scarcity mindset all right, this can go in, in yes, in career and money. This can also be in love. This can also be in love. You just taking whatever is presented to you and just, it's just crumbs, bread crumbs. Okay? And this is like not taking, taking care of yourself, 
We talked about feminine energy uh, needed to work. Okay, I just picked up the deck. Five of Pentacles. That's what I was just talking about. Five of Pentacles, right? I'm going to take this because of the scarcity mindset. If you let go, doors of opportunity are here for you, right? Something that's more healthy, something that's reciprocal, something that it's an equal energy exchange for you, where you don't feel like you people are just taking, 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 or you know, you're giving, giving, giving. All right. I'm taking that. Let's see. Yes, I said rest. We got four four here. Four of swords. Take some time to rest and to meditate. Rest and meditate, especially if you've hit a roadblock on what you want to do going forward, okay? Yeah. Go. So we got two of cups in reverse. The base of the deck is... Um, the justice card in reverse. This is like really solidifying the imbalance that's going on in the chariot card, right? So definitely it's the feminine energy that needs to be balanced. And then seven of wands, okay? Seven of wands. So you may feel like you always have to defend yourself or you may also feel like an outcast. So you, that's why you feel like you have to like really prove yourself, show show up, show out, prove your worth. Okay. Um, but it's okay to walk away from things and to choose your battles. Okay. And trust that what you're walking away from is going to be, you'll, you'll get more. You'll get more out of it, you know, if you if you just let it go. Alright, we're going to get into the tea leaf oracle. It's like, so, uh, Solara, don't, don't crack. <laughs> oh, okay, we got scissors. Disappointment and some affair. Alright, I'm here. It ain't no neck of that stuff. Okay, we got Lily, spiritual love. This could be like self-love okay cutting out or carving out time for yourself bread period of prosperity and abundance but you have to you have to be well rested to get this right your cup has to be filled in order for you to to tackle what's coming up next right uh oh so many. Uh, is it, they said take. I was like, okay, I'll listen. He said, uh, it's the learning to, to let go part. I can let go of external, no problem, but my thoughts. Ooh, child. Mm -hmm. It's like a constant cycle. And then you get like into this spiral. And then it morphs. It mutates into something that could be a little a little dangerous. A little dangerous. I, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's working on releasing and grounding. And then that's where the, the scissors, because you might have externally disconnected yourself, but not energetically. Right? So you need to put the focus, bring the focus back in. Bring the focus back in. All right? That is what saved me. Uh, I, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Because a lot of times when you get to those thoughts, now your thought forms, especially if you're, you're psychic, you're empathic, you're picking up on other people's energies. Okay? So not all of those energies, not trying to like place the blame on other people. Yes, take a hold of, yeah, I might be feeling this way too, but we're reflections out here. Nine times out of ten, they feel in the same way. And you're picking up on that, which further amplifies. Okay? Let's see. There's so, there's so many cards, Spirit. They said take it. Let me let me flip these over. Okay. Okay. 
a mule. Let me start here. <laughs> Someone stubborn, extremely stubborn, and unwilling to change. <laughs> What's the chariot card here? That's the kind of energy. <laughs> That's the kind of energy we're all here. But look, we got new opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up with the door. A door of opportunity is waiting for you. Okay. I wish it was easier because you feel everything and they don't feel a thing. Yes. That's why protecting your head is good. Continue to cleanse. Okay. Continue to cleanse, protect, meditate, rest, bring the focus back on you. It's, it's, it takes time, but you'll you'll uh, get out of that rut. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So, yeah, doors of opportunity are opening up. Okay? Yes, the frying pan. Things are heating up. Trouble accusations. So, this could be within the mind, right? But don't worry. You'll be taken care of in difficult times. Okay? Oh, the troubles, accusations with the parrot. Okay? Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Also, like, I've I've been thinking about that lately. Like, you know how you be like, oh, girl, child, I did this, this, and that. You know, you talking to people, and then they go out and tell your secrets. At this, at this point, and... Like, you know, if somebody come back like you said this, I ended. Okay? Or if they say, like, hey, I heard you was you did this and, oh, you let that guy do this or you did this or that. Okay? As delivered. Okay? Hey, gift the goddess. <laughs> As delivered and, okay, is accepting the light and the dark. I'm not about to judge myself. So if I don't care, I damn sure don't care about what you thinking. So just saying. Cause look, unicorn, you unique. And just love on yourself. Right? It says use your uh intuition to make beneficial changes. Right? This goes into the king of swords. Right? The king of swords, like making that strategic planning. Okay. And then elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So it's all a part of the journey. It's like, especially if you're focusing your energy on other people, right? And detaching, bringing that back to you, it's all a part of the journey. Like, instead of looking outwardly, because that's what this world is made of where it's di distractions right look turning within shining a light on your shadows not casting judgment loving yourself okay knowing that you're unique and that even if somebody has something to say with the parrot even if somebody want to run, run their mouth okay and yeah you can walk away from it yeah, people might might say want to curse your name or scan. What does it scandalize your name, right? Again, I was delivered. Yeah, I did that, but I also learned this, this, and that. I've learned the lesson. You know, forget it. And this is saying, jug lighthearted time, just freeing yourself from it, like lighting lighting up the mood, and also. Um, this can tie into your self-care practices, okay? Self-care, self-love practices. What it is that you want to do. Spend time focusing on what you want to, what you want your, your life and your world to look like, okay? Okay, spirit. We're going to get some clarifiers. Thank y'all for the gifts. Thank y'all for the likes. Okay, we're going to keep it going. This is the Psychic Tarot. Love begins, Ace of Cups. It's that renewal within self. This is the balance and the harmony within within yourself, right? And this is like with the rainbow, after all that hardship, going through all that, it's like, huh, you finally get it. You finally get the restoration that you deserve, okay? Keep 
keep going. I'm like, is this reconciliation in a, in a relationship? I, I heard no. Okay. We have positive movement forward. Okay. Hey, I am king. Okay. Yeah, because you have the strength to keep moving forward. Okay. No personals uh, today. If you want to book a reading, you definitely can. On my website, msbotanica.com. We got Four of Swords again, okay? Rest and rejuvenate. So definitely taking some time out for yourself is warranted, all right? And then Five of, this is Five of Swords in reverse. This is conflict and defeat. And know that there's no competition from these obstacles and challenges. Five, five. There's no competition. So yeah, let them run their mouth. Let them talk stuff. Yeah, this probably got you in a funk or all that stuff. It, it'll be all right. Because once you remember who you are, once you remember who you are, it's on and popping. Nobody can touch you. Okay? Nobody can touch you, Taurus. Okay? So we're going to get into the final message from the Lover's Oracle. Let's see. Final message is spirit. Hey. <laughs> ah, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay? Embrace. This is embrace is kind of like acceptance. So accepting what is the missing pieces is that reflection type of energy. So I'm not again, I'm even though I'm using the lover's oracle, I'm not getting like reconciliation here. You know, um, but the missing pieces, it's like you find that what you were looking at externally, you felt like it was missing within you, but it wasn't. The power was always inside of you. The power was always inside of you. Okay. Let's see. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay? So, this is a message from, I will say, a secret admirer. Okay? And I also feel like if you're having issues with people, your love fills, fills me with light. I love you. They love the light that you bring. Right? But sometimes... People don't know what to do with that. Like, they love something, but don't, don't know how to handle it. Okay? They love something, but don't know how to handle it. Okay? Um, and that's what I'm saying. It, was this reconciliation? I heard, I heard no. So I'm not, I'm not going to force, I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force it. Um, I do want to pull... I do want to pull from this since we got a message from you. I want to pull from this deck. Okay. Let's see. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. Remember, this does not have to be romantic uh, relationships. Just saying. Whatever relationship. This could be friendship. This could be a uh, colleague, business, okay? But love is definitely here. I feel lonely, okay? Self-love. Yes, self-love within self, right? Thank you for bringing me back to self-love, but that was the main message. Through each other, we find the missing pieces, the light and the dark, the masculine, the feminine. Thank you, Solara. Thank you. Because I was like... This ain't reconciliation with a person. A message from you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. This could be you talking to your shadow or the shadow talking to your higher self, right? If I could go back uh, in time, I would handle us differently. I feel lonely. This could be like what the... 
what the shadow is saying. <laughs> Right. Thank you for reminding me. I was like, reconciliation. I, like, I don't see this as like a person. This was self-love. Yes. Why can't I move on from you? This could be the thoughts that you're thinking from somebody else. Let me see one more. <laughs> I am blocked. I am blocked. Well, that was the first, the first thing that came out. Yes, there were some blockages. I hate when uh, TikTok asks me if I want notifications from them while I'm on live. Why do you do that? Okay, I am blocked. But it, it that's as soon as I said that, that's when the screen went out. Okay, so um, like lights out. But yeah, this is definitely some internal um internal like struggles going on within the self definitely about external relationships but once you bring the focus back you'll be able to discover yes the missing pieces within yourself yes makes you think of inner child work yes yes so the inner child and the shadow self are kind of like in that same area so, mm hmm and how our childhood thoughts affect us now. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so definitely some things to ponder about, uh, Taurus. I, I think that this here, overall, this is waking up to who you are. Um, again, if you tell people what's going on with you and they run back and tell people let them it don't matter it really don't at the end of the day because you're doing the work and you're it's just a journey it's just a journey we releasing judgments releasing judgments okay well that's it that's all Taurus I'm gonna keep it going keep it flowing but um I would say the main thing is to rest 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 for you but i'm gonna keep it going keep it flowing i think gemini is next okay make sure y'all uh follow me here uh, if you don't follow me subscribe to my youtube channel i am doing a free reading once we reach 500 subscribers on there okay so make sure you follow me and these replays will be on uh youtube as well okay all right see y'all next time